Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I've got a eh, small Dollar Tree haul for you. And this has actually been a collection of stuff over the last couple of weeks, I guess. Um, just haven't been finding a lot of stuff lately and it's disappointing because I'm seeing a lot of people haul things and I'm not finding the things that they're hauling. Um, I did find a lot of the Bolero products, which I'm happy that I found, but I didn't find the watermelon mint scent um, that I was hoping to find. But anyway, sorry, didn't mean to start this off on a bad note. Um, and I apologize for the, the baseball cap. I don't normally wear them, but today, this morning, I did a 5K and um, my hair is a mess because I've had a hat on all day and I'm not taking it off because <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to see it. So anyway, let's get on with the haul. Um, we'll start with the Bolero products because that's what I first started talking about. I only got the face cleaners. Um, I think that's what they call them. Yeah, facial wipes. I got the uh, peonies and pear and the pineapple, coconut, and lime. Um, I, I really like the Bolero face wipes, so I'm going to, I'm sure I'm going to love these. Um, I did smell these flavors in the soap, these flavors. You don't eat them. They're scents, not flavors. Um, I did smell these in the, the um, hand soap. And I did like them, so I'm hoping I will like them. Actually, you know what? We're going to find out if I'm going to like them in the wipes. Because I own them now, so I might as well smell them. Hmm. This one is a little bit sweeter than I expected it to be. The peony and pear. I expected the peony to be the more um, dominant flavor. Uh, there you go again. Flavor. The more dominant scent. But it's not. It's the pear that I'm getting more. But I still like them. They, they do smell nice. Um, and this one, if I remember correctly, it was kind of the coconut, I think, that was the more dominant scent. Hmm. Hmm. They definitely do not smell the same as the soaps. So if you are questioning, you know, whether you, you're going to like the smell, I don't recommend opening the packages because it's not fair to somebody else that's going to purchase them. But... These do not smell the same as the hand soaps do. Um, there's a little different scent to them. I like them. They are good. But the pineapple, coconut, and lime scent is not really strong. Um, not that you want a, a really strong scent on your face. But it's it's not what it was with the hand soap. So a little disappointed in the scent. But I will definitely still use them. Um, something I've seen a lot of people haul are these flip-flops. I am a huge flip-flop wearer in the summer. Um, these I've never gotten into. I've never gotten into the fuzzy ones. But I figured it'd be nice to, you know, maybe wear these around the house. Just keep them for house slippers. Um, it's not a huge thick sole. And it's, it's very flexible, which is good. I like a flexible um, flip-flop. I don't like one that's really stiff. But they're just so soft and I couldn't resist the colors. It was just... Um, I got these in a large 910. My my sh my foot, my shoe size is a nine nine and a half, depending on the type of shoe. So I'm sure these will be fine for me. Um, and they're just so fuzzy. They're just so soft. So I can't wait to get to wearing them in the summer. Cause now, I mean, we're about to get like I think I've seen six anywhere between five to twelve inches of snow Sunday, which is tomorrow um Sunday into Monday uh this is Saturday that I'm filming this but um yeah so socks slippers er anything and everything to keep my feet warm are on my feet now because my feet are always cold um I did pick up one of the coffee um magnetic notepads and this one says take coffee with you and I thought it was the nicest one of all of them. It's got the pink stripes with the hibiscus. No, I guess those aren't hibiscus flowers, but with the flowers. And I just love the, the shape of it that, you know, it's shaped like a to-go coffee mug um, or coffee cup. Um, so I just picked up one of those. I think they have like four total. Um, and I just didn't, they're okay, but this was my favorite one. So I just got the one. And I'm really trying to cut back on, you know, buying things just to buy things to show you guys. Um, 
I like the notepad, but I didn't like all four of them and didn't need all four of them, so I just got the one. Um, and then I picked up this. Oh, mine looks. I think mine's cracked. It is. Bummer. Um, but anyway, I picked up this organizer file, and I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for after I just said I wasn't going to buy things that I didn't need. Um, but I thought it was it was really. A good idea it comes with the um, labels that you can fill out and you can just you know it's got the pockets and then it's got the tabs so you can just put whatever in it um, I'm trying to get more organized especially with couponing uh, I'm just starting to get into the couponing thing so maybe I'll use it for that um, you know to keep my lists for different stores or I don't know yet, but um, I just thought it was a good idea. I thought it was something that was good to have on hand. Um, and it's actually pretty big. It's bigger than most, you know, standard um, file folders or whatever you want to call them. Um, so I, I don't think it has a size on it. It does not. And this is a Jot product, pro Jot product which is also a Greenbrier um brand so I was I, I grabbed this because I know they won't last long um in fact the same store that I was in I haven't seen them again so um and I just found out that a new Dollar Tree opened a couple towns over from me found this out about a week or two ago and I haven't been yet um it's probably going to be another week or so before I can actually get there but I was like we went by my husband and I were driving somewhere else and we get up to um, get over a bridge and I looked and I was like, are you kidding me? There's a new Dollar Tree and you didn't tell me about it? He's like, I didn't even notice. Are you serious? How do you not notice? I talk about Dollar Tree all the time with him. I get things from Dollar Tree all the time and you didn't notice. I was, I was so mad at him. I hit him. I didn't hit him hard, but I was like, what do you mean you didn't tell me? So anyway, I'm going to make it over there and maybe I'll do a come with me to Dollar Tree. Um, I haven't done one of those yet. Um, and I, I'm just, I haven't done one because I'm just very cautious about filming around other people and, you know, talking while I'm film while I'm, you know, walking around the store. But we'll see. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, I picked up a couple of nail polishes because I thought they were cute and they were, um, spring colors. I got the light pink and the blue. I've tried the blue on my nails and I didn't like it. I just didn't like the color for whatever reason. Um, so I think I'm going to try and put the pink on my nails tonight and see, you know, how that looks. These are both, um, LA colors. They're called color craze. And up here, there's a sticker on it that says jelly. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Um, and I don't know what that means exactly. Um, I don't know. They don't look any different to me when I put them on my nails, so I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, but anyway, I got those. And let's see, we'll go into the little bit of Easter stuff as I almost fall off the chair. I picked up four bags of the um, foam eggs. I got, I think, three different designs. I think there's three or four designs. I got three. These two bags are the same. They're just the pastel glitter eggs. And you get 12 in a pack. And then these two are different. This one is the more chunky glitter. Um, and they are pastel, but they're chunkier. And you get 12, again, 12 in a pack. And then these have, um, a few of the eggs have stripes on them. Um, so I just thought I'd mix and match those. I'm going to do something back there on my bookcase come Easter time. Um, I've been trying to find spring stuff to put back there and I'm not having a lot of success in finding it. Um, you know, Easter, yes, is spring, but I don't want to decorate just for Easter, um, from now until Easter. I want spring stuff there too. So I'm, I'm struggling to find spring stuff. Um, you know, it's all Easter stuff. And even the signs in my stores for Easter have sucked. Sorry, but <laughs> they have. Um, the next thing I got 
are these eggs. I might try and find another pack. I'm not sure yet. Depends on what I decide to do with them. Um, they are going to be displayed back there, but I don't know if I'm going to leave them in the carton um, with the raffia on them. Obviously, I'll take the plastic off. Or if I'm going to display them some other way. I haven't decided that yet, but um, I love these. I think they're adorable. They are, they are plastic, and you can, I thought, I, yeah, you can kind of push them in a little bit, but oh, unless you're, you've got a kid that's going to be playing with them or whatever, I think they'll be fine for decoration. Um, and then I picked up one of these candles. I had hauled one of these before, the marbled candles, and I think it was in Cozy Sweater or something like that. Um, this scent is a spiced tea toddy, and it smells really nice. It's, you know, it's got the spice smell to it. Um, so there's that. And I think of Bargain Bethany every time I see these, um, cause she loves the, the marble stuff. I did pick up some floral, um, stuff. I had hauled several of these, uh, cherry blossom bunches before, and I was looking for more and I only found three more at one of my Dollar Trees. Um, and I don't know that they're going to get more in. Uh, I have no idea, but they're called cherry blossoms and they have the brown stems, which I kind of like uh, opposed to the green. I know, you know, most flowers have green stems, but the cherry blossom is, you know, a tree. It comes from a cherry tree. So I'm glad that the stems are brown, not green. Um, and I just, I love cherry blossoms. I think they're a beautiful flower. Um, you can tell this one's a little bit different. Let me pull it out from the rest. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. They're all, they all have that same, you know, darker pink in it. Um, but I just think they're so pretty and I'm going to put those back there with the other ones. I think I got a combination of pink and white the last time I hauled these. Um, so I'm going to, you know, mix them up and put them back there. Probably in those galvanized buckets that have the twine around the top. And I think that'll look nice with these. Um, and then the next things I got, which just made a mess on my lap, yuck, um, are these, what are they calling these? The greenery bouquet. And they're the fuzzy, um, bouquets. And these were my two favorites. And I only saw two of them. This was my favorite style or look or whatever you want to call it. I just thought this was super pretty. It's got the pinks and the the whites and the greens and you know the longer grass and this goes somewhere in there I will find it eventually but um, anyway I just thought these were so pretty and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet but I had to get them I just they're beautiful and they don't look like you spent a dollar on them at all um, the next thing I picked up is a book for myself um, I'm not a big reader I wish I was but I'm just not, especially now that I have, you know, the internet in my hand all the time. Um, but I picked up this book because I really am interested in learning tricks on makeup and learning how to apply, especially eye makeup. The face makeup I'm pretty good with, except for maybe um, bronzer. I'm still working on, on getting the bronzer right. But... Um, eye makeup, I really struggle with how to apply it. Um, I try, you know, to do everything that I've seen in tutorials and, and stuff, and it just doesn't work for me. So this is called The Makeup of a Confident Woman, The Science of Beauty, The Gift of Time, and The Power of Putting Your Best Face Forward. It's by Trish McEvy. Um, but I thought it was a pretty good book. The retail price on this is $29.99. So to get it for a dollar is a pretty good book, pretty good price. Um, I love the inside cover of it, the, you know, the lipstick lips. Um, let's see what I can find for photos. And some of the photos are, you know, just pretty intriguing too. You know, the photo with the brush with the powder on it. Um, and there are, you know, instructions I'm trying to find um, makeup as a science and an art 
and let's see. I looked through it quickly when I was, you know, at Dollar Tree. Um, and then they've got the eight steps. Step one, brighten and prime upper eyes, eyeliner and color, lash enhancement, upper uh, under eyes, even skin, face color, brow enhancement, and lip enhancement. Um, so I guess I gotta read it to, you know, really figure out what it's all about. But, you know, here's some eye makeup stuff, and that's really what I want to focus on because, you know, the, the face makeup I'm okay with. It's the eye makeup that just doesn't work for me. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a, a good book for a buck when it retailed for $29.99. And then I picked up a couple of cards. Both of them are birthday cards. One is for my sister-in-law. Um, I just thought this one was really pretty with the watercolor flowers and the butterflies. Um, it says, for you, sister, and I'm getting it from both my husband and myself. So I got a sister card instead of a sister-in-law. Um, you're a wonderful sister who deserves to have a very special birthday. Hope it's filled with happy moments that make memories to last through the years. So her birthday is tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, I had it in my phone that her birthday was the third. But when I looked at it quickly, I read it as Bob and Nancy's anniversary. Um, so I picked up an anniversary card, filled it all out, and then I hesitated. I was like, wait a minute. It's Nancy's birthday, not their anniversary. So I looked back at my phone, and I did have Nancy and Bob for whatever reason. I had both their names in there. Um, so I was like, are you kidding me? This would have made it to her in time if I hadn't screwed up. But no, I screwed up, and um, my husband just didn't get out to get a card. You know, it's a man thing. But anyway, I picked it up. I'm going to get it out to her. It's not going to get there in time, but whatever. She'll still get one. And then my hairdresser is turning 40 a week from tomorrow. So I decided it would be a good idea to get him a card. And I want to do something else for him. I'm just not sure what yet. Um, but the card I just thought was hilarious. It says 40. There are lots of great things about turning 40. Um, well, not a lot. A few. Not many. Some. A couple. Okay, maybe one. Maybe not. Well, at least you got a card. Happy birthday. <laughs> So I thought that was funny. Um, he's kind of freaking out about turning 40 and um, I've been 40 for seven years. <laughs> and uh, it's not, it's not horrible. I'm dreading the 50, but anyway. Uh, the next two things I picked up, I'm gonna show you at the same time because I think they're adorable and they kind of go together. Um, but I picked up one of the pineapple trinket trays and I think for the first time I saw the pineapple um, ring holder <laughs> sorry my brain just kind of went eh, not gonna work um so i got the the trinket tray and the ring holder again not sure what i'm gonna do with them but i love them they're so pretty i want to display them but i have the unicorn one here right on my table i never put my rings on it because i don't ever take my rings off but anyway we will display it somewhere somehow and then last but not least, I picked up my son's girlfriend a book. Um, it's The Every Girl's Guide to Cooking. Simple, delicious, healthy with a few splurges. Um, it looks like this might have been a book that was at um, Target because it's got a 20% off sticker with the Target bullseye there. Um, New York Times bestseller, author of The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Um, now I didn't get her this because I think she needs to go on a diet or anything. I got her this because she's always talking about wanting to learn how to cook better. Um, and I thought, since how it said they were simple recipes and I did look in here and they do all look like they're, you know, very few ingredients and something that would be easy for her to, um, you know, learn with. So I got this for her. Her birthday is this month. So I picked this up for her and again, uh, this one retailed for $22. 
Um, and there are quite a few pictures in here. And what is this? Portobello mushroom burger with melted Gruyere on a multi-green bun. So yeah, that's something that, you know, would be pretty easy for her to make. And then you've got um, veggies, you got artichokes, and chicken with spring vegetables. That doesn't exactly look like chicken there, but lemon summer squash bow ties. Um, so yeah, I think this is a pretty good deal, and I'm hoping that she'll get use out of it and enjoy it. Sorry, I'm kind of just flipping through and not really showing you pictures. Um, but yeah, most of the recipes are like five or six ingredients, so it should be easy enough. And um, oh, I didn't even realize the back had like a shopping list group and weekly menus and stuff like that. Um, you know, I don't expect her to use it that way for a diet plan. I just thought it would was easy for her to, you know, learn how to cook better. So anyway, now that I've rambled about that, that's all I've got for my haul. Um, I'm hoping to be finding some stuff that's on my wish list. Um, Easter signs, I know they're going to get harder and harder to find because, you know, we're getting closer to Easter. But I'm hoping... Um, I missed my opportunity, I think, to pick up some knee-high, um, St. Patrick's Day socks. They've still got the lower ones, but I wanted the knee-high ones because, um, where I live, I live in South Hadley and Holyoke, Massachusetts is right next to me, um, is the next town over. And they have, like, I think it's like the second largest St. Patrick's Day parade, um, I don't know if it's in the world, but in the country at least. And I am working, I am walking the parade for work. And I wanted to wear, I wanted to get the knee-high socks. Um, and I had seen them before, but now all they have is the shorter ones. So maybe the new store um, will have some. I don't know, but uh, I'm still looking for some more of the Bolero products and... There's some books that I've seen people haul that I would love to find, but I never seem to find the books that other people find. Um, but anyway, that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you saw something that intrigued you or that was um, of interest to you. Sorry, I was just looking at one of the eggs that looked like it might have been crushed, but it's not. It's just the ribbon on it. So... Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your friends and family, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!